Hi everyone, Dave here at East Rosebud Fly and Tackle in Billings, Montana. Welcome. Today I'm going to tie for you a John Barr fly that he describes in his book Barr Flies, published in 2007, the Slump Buster. So for the materials I'm using a size, this is basically a size 52, 63, 3x long streamer hook. I'm using a size 6, although you can tie this in anything from 4 to a size 12 large gold cone, some uh, peacock braid, sparkle braid and peacock, some brassy chartreuse wire, a cone, a gold cone, and of course pine squirrel. Comes in a, a lot of different colors and all of them are as effective as far as I know. This is a large gold cone and I'm using 6 aught olive divas thread. I'm going to wrap a thread base starting about two eye lengths behind the cone. We need to leave some room just like if that was the head of the fly. To tie off some materials, go ahead and take a thread base all the way down to the end of the shank, right to the back of the barb, and then return it to the same starting point. All right, I'm going to tie on about a five inch piece of peacock sparkle braid right here at this tie in the starting point. Be careful not to creep forward. Tying in these materials directly over your thread wrap starting points. I'm also gonna tie in about a four inch piece of brassy colored, brassy sized chartreuse ultra wire. Make sure that the wire stays on your side of the hook Sparkle braid stays on top as you tie these both going back. Tie it down firmly. And a couple extra tight wraps when you get to the back. Now this is a pine squirrel zonker. This happens to be olive. We have a lot of different colors. I'm going to measure a tail that's about shank length. Get a nice clear division point. It helps to wet it a little bit. And tie that exactly where your thread is hanging. Pine squirrel zonkers are shorter than rabbit and they have of course the natural barring on them that rabbit doesn't have unless it's dyed that way. Several tight wraps there to secure that. Make sure it's on top. Now I'm going to bring the thread right back up to where we started. Take one complete turn of sparkle braid underneath the tail and then come forward snug up against that and make a nice smooth base of sparkle braid as you go forward We have a wide range of colors in sparkle braids, so if you're using rust, for example, or black, there are a lot of different colors, sparkle braid and, of course, pine squirrel. All right, right back at our thread beginning point. Now stretch this forward. And again, you want to find a division point right where your thread is hanging. Dampen it. Try not to trap any of the fur. Keep it on top of the hook shank and make a couple of really tight wraps here. So 
So we're going to actually tie this down with the wire, Matuka style. I will tie a Matuka fly for you in a different session. It was originated in New Zealand, and again, it's a bait fish profile, but it uses feathers instead of fur. fur. Take one wrap right there where we tied everything down, and then take a few wraps coming forward, nice evenly spaced. Again, part that hair and try not to trap any. Just make sure it's a very durable streamer pattern. And snug that wire down as you make your turns. Get one more in there before we hit our end. And then we come down to where we started our thread. And then break the wire. Now there are several ways to finish this head off. I'm going to show you the way I like. First of all, I'm going to use some super glue gel. You can use a product like Zap Goo. It just takes longer to dry, but super glue gel is pretty good. We're going to fill the back of this cone about halfway. You don't want to do too much or you'll end up coming through the cone and over the eye. So we'll need to check that. I'll try to get everybody out of the way here. Sorry, my fingers are in the way. I fill it about half full. Then I bring the thread forward of the actual zonker and then start wrapping this to make a collar and to finish the fly. Make sure that you really get it packed in to the back of that cone. Make sure your cone is snug, push it back a little bit. See, I have a little bit of super glue coming out the front. And just give that a second or two to dry. Now if you try to tie this down, if I left my thread behind the zonker, wrapped my zonker and then tied it down, you're going to have a gap between the cone and the thread. You can fix that by using a dubbing loop, putting some pine squirrel in there, but remember this is super glue and my thread is in front of it. So once the super glue sets, I don't have to tie any knots. All I have to do is cut off the tail with a nice sharp piece of razor. So, I think it makes a much cleaner tie off. That thread's not going anywhere, either is a pine squirrel. Make sure that this eye is clear. This is a size large cone because of the size of this hook. Smaller hooks, of course, use a medium or small cone. So, anyway, that's my way of tying this lump buster. I think it makes a good looking fly. It's a very, very durable fly. Try it in some different colors. Try it in tandem like John Barr suggests. I think you'll be surprised when you get one of those days when nothing works and you need a slump buster. This is the fly. Thanks for joining in. We'll see you next time.